Hello. Hi, everyone. I am Kishma Lengtyaz, and I work as a data scientist in PTV Group. Welcome back on the video series on Model2Go. And in today's video, we will be talking on the PUT supply side of Model2Go. I have already a network prepared, and I will be sharing my screen now. So this is what you can see on the screen is the network of Paris, which is prepared using the Model2Go functionality of PTV Group. Um, right now, I have enabled links and I have also enabled zones. And what you can see in the yellow is the model area which was used to create this network. Uh, because I, as I already mentioned that today's video's focus is the PUT supply side. So I will load a already created layout which will focus on the lines of our network. It takes a little bit of time to load this layout because it has to calculate some of the line routes. All right, so here what we can see on our screen is the PUT supply site and uh, each of the color indicates a specific transport system. If I zoom inside the city center, we see a lot of bright green. To see it better, I would like to disable my stops at this point. So we can see a lot of the highlighted green color in the center, which is depicting the metro stations. We can also identify some of the tram routes in the red, and the blue is covering almost the entire city, which is uh, which are the bus routes, and the blacks are the long distance rails. In some parts, we can also see some direct links, which uh, happen when we have a stop point, uh, which, when we have the end stop at a far end of our model area. Like for example, in this case here, we can see on the west side of our model area, uh, we have some direct links. But that is okay because uh, this information is not included inside the model because this is very far off our model area. So this is what we can get once we have created a model to go supply for PUT. If we want to do some further analysis, the first thing that we should be doing is setting the analysis period of our model. And in order to do that, uh, we need to go to the network and we need to select the network settings. In this dialog that is opened now, we should be inside the calendar and analysis period tab. And inside this, we see two options. One is the annual calendar and the second one is the analysis period. So for this uh, model, I have set the analysis period to one day, which is the 22nd of June of this year. So after we have set our analysis period, we can click on OK. But since the analysis period is already set for this uh, for this model, so I will just click on cancel and come back to my original window. After setting the analysis period, I will like to calculate some of the PUT operating indicators. And in order to do that, I can use the procedure sequences because there are dedicated procedure operations which do this function. So I have already the procedure sequences opened here, but I can also access them via the calculate uh, button on my toolbar and go to procedure sequence. Here I have uh, the first procedure added, which is resetting the PUT operating indicators. I think it is always a good practice if we initialize any of the already calculated indicators because just to maintain consistency in our network. So I will run this one. It just takes a few seconds. And after this is run, I will also activate my second procedure sequence that I have added, which is calculating the PUT operating indicators. So I will start the procedure. After a few seconds, I have my operating indicators calculated for this network for the analysis period that was defined by me because it is calculating the line routes again. So it is taking a little bit of time to load. All right, so in my network editor, I see this window again. But since I have calculated my PUT operators, uh, I would like to do some uh, graphic analysis using those operators. So the first thing I will do is I will turn off my lines layer. And because I want to visualize my stops and my stop catchment areas. Uh, and in order to visualize them, I first need to set the graphic parameters, which I can do either via the graphic button on our toolbar 
or I can also right click on the network object for which I want to set the graphic parameters. So I will right click on stops here. I see this dialog box. And here I will first activate the uh, stop areas and then I will also go to the stop catchment areas. And in order to uh, specify the graphic parameters for stop catchment areas, I will go into the display section. As we can see, there are two options. The first one is the uniform display. So let's start with that. I can set the radius uh, to a constant value. Uh, I can assume that 500 meter, let's say, is a reasonable distance for anybody to walk to a stop area to get the bus or train. So I will set it to 500 meters. And then I can also change the color. In this case, let's set it to orange, for example. After I'm happy with my graphic parameter settings, I will click on OK. OK, in order to visualize this first, of course, I need to activate my layer. So I activate my layer and I also check in my uh, edit graphic parameters dialog box. I go to layer and I check if the stop catchment areas is enabled. If it is not enabled, then I enable it. Uh, then I enable it like I did just now. So I click on OK again, and now we can see uh, the catchment areas for each of the stops. So catchment area is basically a circle, uh, and in this case, we specified the radius for that circle to be 500 meter, and we can see from this very quick analysis that the North eastern side or the northern side of the city of Paris is very well covered by the PUT systems, but the southwestern side, specifically this region, um, we still have some lacking areas which are not covered, or the PUT development can focus on this part of the city. Okay. And other analysis that we can do is we can uh, use our, for example, I want to analyze my uh, departures per stop during my analysis period. I can do that by changing the colors of my uh, stop catchment areas depending on the number of departures. How can we do that? Again, we will go into the graphic parameters layer. I will open my stop catchment areas, go to display, and this time we will use the classified display. In the classified display, first of all, we need to identify and we need to specify which attribute we would like to use um, for our analysis. So in this case, if I'm interested in the number of PUT departures for my analysis period, I will choose this from the quick access. If it's not in the quick access, we can of course scroll down here and choose our relevant attribute. Since now I have selected this, I will press OK. And because I would like to redefine my classes, I will delete all of the classes which are existing in this window. And to redefine my classes, I will click on this button here. This will open a new dialog box and it will ask me for the total number of classes I want. In this case, let's say I want a total number of three classes. So I will specify three and I want to differentiate my uh, departures from zero to 100 from 100 to 500 and greater than 500. So I will specify two of my class limits here and I can also change the colors. So for example, from total number of departures from 0 to 100, I want the color to be green. So I will select this. If I want to add a new color, so I will just put my mouse on the boundary and then I will right click. So it will give me the option of create color here. I select this and I say I want it to be orange from 100 to 500 and for greater than 500, let's say I want it to be red. I can also drag these uh, up and down to change my color scales. All right, after I am happy with this, I will just click on OK. And we can also see on the window here that the classes are defined and uh, uh, they are defined based on the specifications that we specified in our redefine class dialog window. After I'm happy with this set with these settings here, I will just press on OK again. All right, so now what we can see on our window is we can see uh, 
the, the total number of departures for each of our stop. To understand it better, I will also like to include my stop catchment areas in my legend. And to do that, I just need to go to my stop catchment areas and put it to here. And activate the legend again. Oops, I need to right click. OK, now uh, the legend shows me what each of the color means. And as expected, in our city center, the total number of departure in my analysis period, which is set to one day, are more than 500. We can also see some orange scattered around, which gives us an indication that these are these stops where the departures are between 100 to 500. And the greens are mostly around the boundary or they are mostly in the suburbs. So this sort of analysis gives us, an, gives us a quick idea of what is the frequency of the services which are being offered in different parts of our uh, model area. So these were some of the analysis that I wanted to show you guys today. I hope uh, these were helpful. And if you have any suggestions or any feedback or comments, please leave a comment down below. You can also contact our support specialist if you have any queries, and we would be happy to hear from you. So thanks a lot. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.